Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video and today's video is going to be a review on the Crep Protect Cleaning Kit. So we're just going to do a quick review on my personal opinions. This video is not sponsored whatsoever. So it's going to be a tutorial on how to clean your shoes with the cleaning kit that you buy from any store. You can buy it in the UK, in the US, online, anywhere you want to buy it. So we're just going to do a review on it. I'm going to show you guys how to clean your shoes and then we're going to see what the outcome of how clean the shoes are going to be really so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new around here hit the like button it honestly means a lot and yeah just let's get into the video i've got prepared here for the, the cleaning tutorial itself first of all um so when you go into a shop you get this like little box here which normally has Got the crap protect sort of packaging over the top, um, which I have opened it up and had a little look inside. Which does come with like instructions, um, and then we've got like a liquid, um, which I have already poured into here, which I'll explain why in a second. Um, so, yeah, you get quite a few usages out of that, and then you get a nice little brush, and you get a like a little cloth to just wipe down your shoes with. So not bad. So obviously you won't be needing that for now. Um, obviously it comes with a spray also, which is the aftermath. So um, in here, I have placed just a couple of drops of, in, of this in some hot water and in here, which will be for the cleaning part. And we will get straight into the cleaning, I guess. Um, all the instructions are in there. Um, there's not much that I can really explain to you because it is quite simple. Um, but yeah, I use hot water. You can use cold if you like. It's not much difference really, but I just say hot hot water tends to get more dirt out. Um, I've got an old like pair of bands here. As you see, are quite in rough shape. The top and that ain't too bad itself. So yeah, it, like you're gonna see how much difference it sort of makes over overall. Um, so yeah, what we'll do is we will just time lapse this and then get straight in. Basically, we're just going to get straight in, into the cleaning, really. Um, so I do suggest with the brush and this, I always say to apply sort of just a couple of drops onto the brush and then obviously dunk the brush into the wall and just get cleaning. Then we'll see the aftermath afterwards. All right, so I'm just going to time lapse this and see how lovely this these pair of shoes turn into really we've also got another pair down here um which are my air forces which are in they're in like sort of rough shape as you can see the bottom isn't that nice either so we'll give them a clean also and then we can show the after that <laughs> So basically, after I've given these a clean down, um, I suggest putting them in the washing machine, which I made a very big rookie mistake in not putting the laces in the washing machine, as I know the laces do always, always wash out, like no matter what. Um, but yeah, no, the shoes turned out quite nicely. They look a lot, lot better than how they did before and after I cleaned them. So if you go back to obviously having a look at um, like before, just before we started cleaning them on the edges um how they were really dirty and they come out a lot nicer there's a bit of muck there which no one really sees the bottom but on the edges like the blackness on them have come out a lot more they honestly look a lot lot better which I'm now just going to show you obviously you have the part where you've got to put the spray on to protect them even more 
um, which is always best. I'd say don't do it in your house like I am. You get given a spray, it has a lid on. Um, and they say, sort of, not close. And then just gentle sprays around the edge. So, um, do that, um, and then after, I believe it's 10 minutes, you then grab the spray again, after they join out, and then do it, go over it again. Um, try not to apply too much, as it then, it, it may affect the shoes, but at the same time, I mean, the quality, the quality that's come out in my vans, overall, um, I'm, I'm buzzing. I mean, this has worked very, very nicely. So, I'm quite... So, guys, the overall outcome, a lot, lot better than I expected. I mean, my fans have come out, like, superb. Like, the condition, they look a lot, lot better. And I'll definitely be wearing them a lot more now. For a kit that size, with literally three or four items in it, you can't complain. Um, I believe I paid about eleven ninety nine in JD. Um, and, I mean, for a little case like that, that will fit in your gym bag, your man bag... Um, like, it, like even just for a lady, you like your handbag, it will fit in there. It, like, it's unreal. Honestly, highly, highly recommend them. I mean, the outcome of my vans, which I am buzzing, buzzing to be wearing again. Because honestly, I didn't wear them that much because of the condition that they were in. I'm just gonna go out and buy a new pair. But that has honestly just saved me from going out and buying a new pair of vans, which has saved me 60, 70 quid. So. Honestly, highly recommend it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check them out. Um, it's not sponsored whatsoever. It's just my personal opinion. Other people may have different opinions. But yeah, I shall definitely be wearing these again. So, make sure to subscribe to if you're new around here. Highly appreciate it. It means a lot. Plenty more videos to go. Um, and come in your way, guys. Please leave a like or so. Um, otherwise, your shoes are just going to get ruined again if you don't leave a like. So. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned. Peace out.